Estoy segura que estos personajes también te acompañaron en tu infancia y hoy te traigo las voces detrás de ellos. Se trata de Elizabeth Daly y Tara Strong, quienes nos cuentan todos los detalles acerca de la segunda temporada de la serie de los Rugrats. Gather round, ye knights of the kitty table. I don't think we're supposed to. If you step on the wrong one. I am so happy and glad to have this conversation with both of you today. Actually, I am a real fan of Rugrats. And I want to show you this. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. How long have you had yes, that? Yes, it's an original piece I bought like a... Uh, Seven years ago, I am the real fan of oh, you. So cute. <laughs> so obviously, I grew up with Rugrats. It was an important part of my life. What do you feel being part of everyone's childhood and good memories? Mm. Oh my gosh. Well, what's not to like about being, you know, what we always get from people is like, you were the voice of our childhoods. We grew up on you. And to be a part of somebody's childhood and The memories of that and the way it makes you feel, I think, is so special. And to be part of that is so magical, you know. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, we go to Comic Cons a lot and we hear that all the time. Like, you know, watching Rugrats was the time where we all sat together as a family and we laughed. And it's important to have these shows that are entertaining for children and grown ups. And I think Rugrats is masterful at that. So to give a whole new generation of those kind of fun memories feels pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about creating the character, when I watched the first episode, honestly, I was expecting all characters to be involved with cell phones and tablets, and I was gladly surprised when I saw that they were into a classic adventures. So what do you think about this approach? I think it's really important. Oh my gosh, thank God. Yes, yeah. because we, you know, the obviously the cell phones and things are distracting us from all the beautiful adventures of life and being present. So, we're the the fact that the babies get to be free from for the most part, free from all the, you know, electronics and get to go as wild as their imagination can take them. We love that. Yeah, I think there's been a lot of studies as to children using much less of their imagination because of these devices and I remember as a kid saying to my sister on our walk, let's pretend we're going to Jupiter when we walk through this tunnel. And the Rugrats have always been brilliant at doing that. Whatever the babies are envisioning, we get to go on those adventures. And the fact that they're not on tablets will hopefully inspire new generations to be like, hey, let's make believe like the Rugrats did. Let's, you know, pretend that we work here or we're traveling there. And I think it's really important. You don't really see that much no. in animation. Don't. I'm curious about the preparation. We can imagine how is the preparation to play a superhero, but how do you train and take care of your voice? Oh, I thought she was going to say, how do you become a baby? And then I was going like, <laughs> to make fun of you for like learning a diaper or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> I think just, you know, honestly, I think that we've done these characters for so long that I I could say for myself, like they live in us. And so there's not a lot of preparation that goes into being the person that, that is part of you. Just like you're yourself, you're your own person, and I'm my own person, and Tara's your own person. Our characters are a lot their of own different person. people. We kind of are. <laughs> But you know what it is like any other muscle, right? So you want to treat it well. We don't smoke. We don't go screaming at parties or well, you know. <laughs> concerts like you really do want to protect it because if you lose your voice you can't work right so yeah. i've never been someone that like uh i i i if we have to sing on something i'll warm up my voice with a singing right. lesson i'll have like good drinks to stay hydrated and luckily for us on rugrats charlie adler's a wonderful director so he's not going to push too hard if we're screaming and crying too much we'll get a little break to protect our voice but you're right like you do have to definitely understand that this is still an important muscle that you're using and you have to keep it healthy. I'm going to finish with this and please give us an invitation as Tom and Jill and tell us what is the real reason to watch this season. Oh, is my character going to say? Tommy. Okay, here we go. Tom, um, I really like watching Rugrats because and now my baby Dill is coming and even though he's stinky, I really appreciate that he's squishy and small and cute. Yeah, I love when children show for puppies! Oh yeah, you rocks, you're amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And happy. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> you treats? Eh, close enough. Ah! Oh, getting kind of sweaty just thinking about it. Uh.